Hi, I'm Robert Morris, CEO of Teravion. Uh, as Dave said, I led the first drone platoon in Afghanistan. Uh, my co-founder, uh, who couldn't be here today because he's building more capacity, uh, is the brilliant Carnegie Mellon roboticist who makes robots so awesome they even make Ben Bernanke smile. And uh, what we're up to is we are increasing global agricultural productivity by double digits. And I know that's an audacious goal, but the thing is that everyone, most of all farmers, know that it's possible. And actually they know that the only thing you have to do to let them farm that much better is to show them a picture of what they're doing, a picture of everything that they're doing every week, just like this. The reason why that, this hasn't happened uh, to date is that the enabling technologies just haven't been there. It's been way too expensive and too slow to deliver imagery to growers. Uh, but we've actually made it happen, check it out. So on our website, you can go onto our website and if you have a farm and 95% of California's agricultural acreage, you can outline your blocks, give us your credit card, and boom, this shows up in your uh, mailbox every week. Um, log on to the web interface and you have a map. And I know this looks like a heat map to you guys, kind of esoteric, but to a farmer this is real money. They can tell where they need to send their scouts, where they need to send their people. They see money left on the table with this image. The best part about our solution, I'm going to correct Dave slightly here, is we do not use drones. Let me, let me repeat that. Although I led a drone platoon, we do not use drones. We use manned aircraft. I'm going to say more about that a little bit later. Um, and we're operating today. Uh, actually, the really best part is that our technology works. This is a case study of our implementation at Coppola. And this is essentially our business model, right? Is we charge the grower about one half of 1% of their revenue, and we deliver an increase in profitability that's around 10% of their revenue. So as you might imagine, with results like that, we have uh, many customers, uh, including some of the leading wineries in California. Uh, we currently have customers that are growing grapes, walnuts, almonds, olives, and corn. And uh, I think we're starting some alfalfa trials right now. We also have uh, retailers uh, bringing their customers to us. And we figured out how to scale uh, the system. Last year, uh, our, our prototype, we covered about uh, three quarters of a million acres. And this year, we've scaled it up 50 times in coverage. Even better, though, we have 200 times the revenue acres. And uh, I had to tell my salesperson to slow up so that we could, the engineers could add more capacity. So. We are, we are off to the races. All right, so since this is a Carnegie Mellon audience, um, I wanted to say a little bit more about the drone industry because it's kind of hyped up right now. And I know that Carnegie, Carnegie Mellon, we're very much into doing things and looking at the things that are real. And I'm actually, gonna, I'm actually gonna reinforce a couple of Paul's points here. All right, so, the first point to go along with Paul's point is about, it's all about the data, is Carnegie Mellon's very much into, into uh, doing the work. And I think that one of the things that I appreciated most about Carnegie Mellon is that they're super friendly to veterans. Uh, you all, as alumni and taxpayers, got me my MBA. Thank you very much. A and the reason why that's important is because in the drone industry, at least, veterans are the ones that have been doing the work. And they're the ones that have seen this. So this is, this is actually my office in Afghanistan. Um, the TV is where the screen comes out. This is staged, so there's not actually classified information, although on a normal day, uh, this would just be full of classified information. And what's really important about this is not that sexy plane that I showed you earlier, it's this. So that bald guy, he's the uh, battalion battle captain. He has 400 guys and he controls 10,000 square miles. And he's responsible for everything that happens. And prior to the drone showing up, he couldn't see anything. He was stuck in a windowless room with a radio. And 
although he's in the best position to order support and move people around, he, he literally couldn't see anything. And so, so I learned there that the, the value is not in the plane. The value is in the information that you bring to the decision maker who can do something else. And that's, that's, what we've, that's the approach we've taken with our business. And I think that's why we've had such success with farmers. All right, and then the other thing is that at Carnegie Mellon, we're all about taking what's intuitive and challenging the established wisdom. So what you see here is a chart of all the methods that you can use to collect data from the air or from space. And it says that if you look at this on a per hour basis, the intuitive conclusion, um, I think Paul mentioned this, like as the system complexity grows, it becomes more and more expensive to operate, uh, and uh, particularly on a per hour basis. However, if you're in agriculture, we don't care how much it costs per hour to run. We care how many acres it covers. And so the interesting thing about that is that the relationship between the sort of size and complexity of the system and the cost per acre is the opposite of what you would expect. Um, and so we've picked a, a solution that is a little bit in the middle and very flexible, uh, low cost, but gives adequate response. And if you don't believe me, uh, that electric drones are far and away the most expensive way to collect data. I'm, I'm going to show you why they're the most expensive. And I'm going to do it with an equation because this is Carnegie Mellon, right? So, <laughs> all right. So, it's really actually not the drone that is so expensive. It's the fact that, for instance, in Sonoma County right now, uh, our company serves about 150 ranches. That takes one guy one day in one plane the day to collect all the data. If I had to, to, uh, to send out this to go collect data, uh, I mean, I'd need 10 guys and 10 trucks. And even if the drones were free, dudes in trucks are not. So um, anyways, uh, I hope that was enlightening. And I would love to talk with you all if you're interested in increasing global agricultural productivity by 10% or if you're interested in uh, helping me collect the half percent tax on all of agriculture that we're imposing. All right, thank you very much.